Take your shot when you're ready. No! Status. I'm good. The package is secure. I'm gonna make my way back to you as soon as I get a visual on the enemy. Pile driver, this is Storm. We have a man down. We have the package. I repeat, we have the package. We need a dust off immediately. Copy, confirmation understood. Dust off should be there any second. Hang in there, Storm. Get your ass back here, Oliver. We have 24 hours to get that package in containment. Make it quick, soldier. I've got movement over here. Hold them off while we scan for ID. Sir, they're coming in hot. Move fast. We need to get this package to containment now. Landing now, 16 degrees southwest. Falcon is landed. Let's move out. It's no secret the Air Force is short on pilots these days. However, candidates must still meet strict physical, medical, vision, and academic requirements. After that, applicants must score well on the AFOQT and pass a selection board. Becoming a pilot is a service to one's country. It is a privilege and a way of life that is not for everyone, but occasionally, and I stress occasionally, the Air Force finds itself with candidates that surpass those measures. Candidates that by God's grace, or whatever you believe in, are made to be Air Force pilots. Those born with exceptional skills and talents. However, sometimes those rare few fall prey to the Icarus paradox if left unchecked. While one must be prepared to take it to the edge, one must remain always in control of their actions. Those actions can be a matter of not only life or death, but of all those engaged in the battle with them. Only the very best rise to Top Gunner. Not a 
Banana Princess. Oh, whatever. Marcus Brown, Spearman, and you three cadets are in training to become pilots in the U.S. Air Force. This is a training base. No messing around up here. We need you to be ready for combat. No stunts this time. I'll be watching your every move. Choices you make today will determine the course of your trajectory in the Air Force. I thought he was in a brief. Look, he's obviously excited to see us. <laughs> nice knowing you. I mean, I saw enemy fighters up there. I saw them. Yeah, I did too. Those enemies were all over you. If it wasn't for my maneuvering skills. Oh, in your dreams. <laughs> in somebody's dream. <laughs> hey, hey, you guys looked hot up there. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, get some pointers from me. Maybe you'll be a pilot one day. Naturally. What she said, you either got it or you don't, you know? It's, I don't know, I can't describe it. Let me yeah. get back to you on that. Really? Well, probably not. I, I wouldn't trust anything this guy has to say. He's still in his proverbial diapers. Probably doesn't have anything to teach you. Sounds about right. <laughs> but hey, look on the bright side. Maybe Spielman can take some time out of his busy day to teach you how to stall a foul. Oh, my Great. Oh, hey, you know what? It looks like you guys have shit to deal with of your own. I'm out. <sighs> Sir. 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 The Air Force has invested a lot in you three. And I'm gonna see to it we get a return on that investment. The property you treat like toddler toys are not yours. They are the property of the United States military. They are not to be treated like the BMWs and Mercedes your daddies bought you when you were 16. 
They belong to the Air Force. Do you understand? Do you understand? Sir, my father left when I was 12. My mother worked tirelessly three jobs just to make sure I could be here. It's kind of a rags to riches story, sort of. Spielman, I don't like you, I don't think you're funny, and I'm not impressed. Okay, the three of you will be spending the long holiday weekend with myself and Major Sergeant Kelly. Also, starting now, you're assigned as of 2200 to 20200. Duty officer, squadron base ops, and security each and every night for the next six days. Yes, sir. One more time. Yes, sir. You still have PT training at 0900 now. Get out of my sight. Get out of my sight! and I won't be alone this holiday week. It was so nice of you to give up your leave to stay here with us. I want to make sure to have some extra turkey and cranberry sauce flowing from stateside just for you. All right, let's start this week off with a little 5K jog. It's in, hut, right, peace. Lieutenant Brown, will you kindly lead us? Yes, Master Sergeant. What? What? I don't know what I've been told. I don't know what I've been told. Air Force wings are silver and gold. Air Force wings are silver and gold. To take a jet up in the stream. To take a jet up in the stream. Is every pilot's wedding stream. Is every pilot's wedding stream. Left, 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 right, left, left. Descending. Captain. Captain Cushing. Ah! What are you doing? You're completely out. I got it. You tell me you were hurt. Don't worry about it. Looks like you took a bullet to the floorboards. The bullet went straight through the floor. It just hit my leg and nicked my shoulder. I'll be fine. But it looks like it might have blown through our fuel pump. We're not making it. We understand that the CRISPR is in your hand and that you are thousands of miles away from the U.S. border. If you do not cross over Central America and get that package into the sea, a massive worldwide epidemic. You've got 48 hours. Where can we set her down? Off the grid. There's a new airbase, Asa. It's not on everyone's radar yet. Osa? That's not new. Uh, uh, Asa. It's in Baja, California. Uh, we have a base set up there temporarily uh, for Siri training. The initial phase basic flight school. But they have a runway. I'll set us down there. We'll call for another exfil. Okay, do it. You sure you can still fly this thing? I'll get us there. But the hydraulics for a vertical set down are shot. It'll take us in for the, uh, uh, the old fashioned way. Asan Tech, this is Yankee Charlie Echo, one niner. We're on a classified mission. We need to set down up on your base. Do you copy? This is Asan Tech. Yankee Charlie Echo One Niner, you are transmitting over a restricted channel. Authorized clearance is required, or you will be subject to intercept. Brace yourselves. Sierra, Golf, Echo, Niner, Niner, X-ray, Niner, Lima, Oscar. Authentication confirmed. Aircraft's damage. We got two critical. I need to take us down. Here we go. Here we go. Brace for impact. Ten. Nine. Eight. It's a Valkyrie. 
three ATC. Five, four, three, two, one. Everybody okay? Copy that, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. How's the Christmas? Package intact, sir. You guys don't need to be here. It's off the books. Understood? Yeah. Yes, Mr. Yes, sir. You'll be briefed shortly. Head on back to the barracks until we call for you. Colonel Herring? Yes, I am. We've got one critical and one deceased. I need a medical team. Dispatch the tarmac immediately. Can they keep their mouth shut? Yeah. Unmarked paramilitary gear, state of the art. My bet's on CIA or private sector. What do you think of that metal case? Whatever it is, it's important enough for Herring to pay his respects. Let's get out of here. I don't see any windows on that thing. You think it's a drone? How do they navigate in close proximity? Must be some extremely accurate GPS. I understand it's all classified, and don't give me the need to know foolishness. You're on my base, Mr. Last, and I have lies I'm responsible for, and I need to know if that thing is going to jeopardize our situation. Have you heard of CRISPR? Yeah, gene editing compound alters and disrupts DNA. Correct. However, this particular CRISPR was used by the Russian government to engineer a deadly airborne pathogen. They have plans to distribute it to terrorist organizations and place it in the countries that were struggling to obtain democracy. The Russians will come in, offer to quell any terrorist factions. Now, the past few months, this has been around. We weren't able to get our hands on it. We finally did that. OK, explain to me exactly how it works. A terrorist cell will place this in a public place, probably a trash can or a bus stop. Once the pathogen is unstable, it will cause rapid and immediate thrombocytopenia in any organism it comes into contact with. OK, now what is this thrombocytopenia? How'd you say it? It's a condition where the body destroys its platelets. Massive internal hemorrhaging occurs. Anyone exposed will need to be treated with less than an hour before death. And you brought that here? What is wrong with you? We didn't have much of a choice, sir. We've already called another expert to come pick us up. Get this to Kirkland and get a vaccine. We have less than 13 hours to do so. I don't know. These guys just showed up here with a Valkyrie on the base. The whole place is on lockdown. No, oh, I don't know what I don't know what I'm gonna be able to do. Who are you talking to? It's my sister. Just, you know, letting them know I'm not gonna be home for the holidays. Hey, look, I have to call you guys back. What? Tell mom I love her. You too. You know, um, I think it's gonna be my mom's last Thanksgiving. You know what they're saying, right? Yes, I do. But that's not what that phone call was about. Так, ребята, я перехватил американскую передачу. Наш подарочек находится в Центральной Америке на американской базе. Высылайте бригаду туда. We were just buzzed by one Russian bogey. Cease all further radio transmission. I repeat, cease all radio transmission at once. By four o'clock, I'll be there. 
You don't believe in knocking? You said your cadets weren't gonna be a problem. And? Now my dust off is compromised and we're losing time to get the CRISPR to safety. I'm aware of that and I apologize. But apparently one of them, Lieutenant Barrett, he called his sister safe side that he had an emergency situation and he wouldn't be home for the holiday. His mother's not in good health. That was enough to send up Russian scouts who have probably already figured out our flight plans to this location. There's gonna be more surveillance and possibly an assault attack sent out. You need to get us to the States now. The only aircraft we have don't have the fuel to get you back. Mid-air refuel. All of our season pilots are on leave for the holiday. This is a training base. None of our cadets know how to do mid-air refuel. Get them all in here now. Now? <clears throat> Hold on. I need to see the sergeant right now. One, two, one, two, one, two, one. Kelly. Yes, sir. Understood. On your feet! Mr. Barrett, do you understand the meaning of off the books? Sir, yes, sir. Apparently not, because a short while ago, you placed a cell phone call to your sister stateside, declaring we had an emergency situation here in Nassan. Sir, that is all I said, sir. Let's move. We have a briefing in the CO's office. Mr. Lassen. We have a package that needs to be delivered to Kirtland Air Base in the United States within the next 12 hours. It's absolutely essential there be no further personal communication outside of the desert. There's a better than average chance we'd be subjected to further reconnaissance. Sir, Second Lieutenant Alex Marcus, I'd like to volunteer our squad for air defense. Kid, you have no idea what's coming for us. No, sir, I guess I don't. Most likely a Russian military. A trio of green, untested Air Force cadets lacking surface-to-air support is hardly a match for Russian U-47. Still, your only option is to let us run this mission. You may get that chance, Lieutenant. Second Lieutenant Spielman, sir. Second Lieutenant Brown, sir. If the Russian military attacks this base, is that not considered an act of war? Unfortunately, in the court of international law, our actions to date will be considered terrorism. Great. Joy. And Colonel Herring could be regarded as harboring fugitives. Here's how I would like to proceed with your permission, sir. Let's hear it. I don't mind the idea of having three pilots available for the FA-18 Hornets. If you have anybody available to repair our aircraft, I would appreciate that. Master Sergeant Kelly, Mr. Oliver, Mr. Rapp, and myself will give a refresher in basic infantry skills. Master Sergeant, can we get some weapons, please? I can, sir. Need I remind you, Mr. Lawson, these kids are fresh out of the Air Force Academy. They never put a bullet into anyone. Everybody's got to start somewhere. Just stand, Lieutenant. Thank you, sir. Elbows tucked in and down. Hold that rifle like you do. Got it. Thank you, man. Keep it up, keep it up. Right there. Right there. Hold it tight. Elbows tucked in and down. Hold that rifle like you need it. Widen your stance. Your feet should be under your shoulders. Yes, sir. How does it feel to have a loaded rifle in your face? Even though it is jammed. Sorry. You made your point. If you all can't think clearly right now when you're not being shot at, how are you going to perform when you are being shot at? I understand your pilots. The saying that goes for up there, goes for down here. Keep your head in the game at all times. Still got a little time left. Mr. Oliver, assist them for another 30. Okay. I'm gonna get a sit rep and find out where our ex fill is. All right, keep going, guys. Who's the best pilot out of that group? Marcus, he's cocky, but talented. I'm not opposed to Marcus's idea of providing some sort of diversion as an attack using the F-A-18 points. Well, Lieutenant Barrett, who I know is not at the top of your list presently, is a fine mechanic as well. Okay, put Barrett on our aircraft. Hey, early in their briefing, you said there was a chance of an assault on our base. Yes. 
How likely is that? Jamie, you all right? There's something I need to tell you. I put in for reassignment. Reassignment? To who? Where? Here, but just to support. I'm not cut out to fly. What makes you say that? You? Alex, Catherine. Me you know, in handling that gun today just made me realize that if it came to it, I couldn't shoot an enemy plane down. At least you don't have to shoot your enemy in the face. That's supposed to make me feel better? I didn't mean it like that. I just, I'm trying to help. I know. God, that was such a stupid thing to say. <laughs> it's fine. I'm sorry. It's fine. Colonel Herring and Lassen want me to try and fix that Valkyrie. So I'm gonna give that a try at least. Good, I'm glad. Fix that futuristic jet of theirs and get them the hell out of here, right? I don't like these guys. Everything we've heard about Black Ops, they reek of it. You saw that one put his gun in Barrett's face? Who do these people think they are? Who knows what they are or were. They all have that look. We don't know what they've seen. You see the good in everyone, huh? It's just not our place. When my brother first got back from Afghanistan, I know. Hey, look, but we're not them, right? Lights out in 10! Get some rest. Oh. Master Kelly, forget our PT. I want you to rig an M152 Rams to that building structure. Yes, sir. Worst case scenario, the Russians blindside us and take over the base. Explosives will be rigged to any structures containing classified intel. Oliver will carry a remote detonator. We lose control of the base, hit the detonator. Why are we rigging the tents? If this package falls in the wrong hands again, we're all expendable. Can't argue with that point. A light's been briefed on the topic a little earlier. Well, I'm to blame for that, Master Sergeant. I failed to inform you of that detail. Understood, sir. My apologies. Rap, 
I want you to find the best vantage points possible. Copy that. Where do you want me, sir? With me. Colonel Herring, do you have a safe bunker to go to? I'm staying with you. We have confirmed visual. Four Russian Mi-20 attack helicopters heading this way. They're flying below 4,000 feet. That's why they're registering on radar. This is a full recon, okay? Ground forces are not far behind. They're gonna try to take out our defenses and our communication. Roger that. We're ready, sir. Everybody, take your positions. Eyes to the skies. Now, radio check. Oh, 
What are you doing? Sparrow, do you copy? What are you doing? Sparrow! like that again. Spielman. Brown. Marcus. Impressive work up there, lieutenants. Thank you, sir. We learned from the best. Colonel Herrick, sir! F-A-18s 1 and 2 are both branded with structural dim, sir. Lieutenant Barrett, let's get your Mr. Lassen jet, see if those repairs are within our capabilities. All right, I can do that, sir. Already visual confirmation of another enemy aircraft. No. An SU-57. Colonel, with all due respect, if we don't go and bring it to them right now, they're gonna bring it to us. Then let's move. That SU-57 is equipped with state-of-the-art stealth technology. Radar absorbed materials, serrated edge panels, the works. I heard they actually have beyond visual range missiles. Well, you heard correct, my friend. Hey, boys, knock it off. Copy that, Sparrow. <sighs> Guys, they have a lock on me! No, Joy. Dutch, I, I don't see him. It's those PBRs, man, I'm telling you! Uh, um... Dutch, you need to recalibrate, uh, cross-check your instrumentation. Guys, they're still locked on me!
happened? Had to eject the plane. We were no match for that SU-57. I don't know what we were thinking. Marcus and Brown? So two planes are grounded and three are complete losses. We have one left without a weapon system. Sorry, sir. Don't be sorry if you hadn't stopped that SU-57 or destroyed all our aircraft and Mr. Lassen's jet. We have to read radio silence and put out a distress call. Can't do that. Why? Right now it's just a skirmish. You send out your fleet, they send out theirs. Now we're at war. You're not that no one's gonna win. I don't understand. A skirmish? This is an act of war. They're trying to attack us. This desert, is it official U.S. territory or is it on a trial run? It's on loan. I don't mean it to be disrespectful, but this type of shit happens all the time. Stuff that you guys would never hear about. This particular procedure, it goes beyond the knowledge of any national agency, even the president. Plausible deniability. Yes, exactly. It's just us. So the faster you guys realize that, the better off we'll be. So what's the plan? We're losing time. They'll be back with bigger and better weaponry. Maybe take the CRISPR in the woods and wait for the exfil there. Sir, I don't like it. I don't like it either, but sometimes we need to just get going. Why not just secure the CRISPR here? This package does not leave my sight unless you have some type of vault. No, sir. You three were really good with the M16s. I'm gonna need your skills rather than staying here. Kelly? I want you to accompany us. We're gonna go into the woods with the CRISPR and wait for the exfil there. We're gonna protect the CRISPR at all costs, understand? Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes, sir. So go pack whatever you can for the next 12 hours. Hey. Yes, sir. How's work going on Mr. Lassen's jet? It's good. Identify the problem and I'm gonna fix it. Excellent news. You will continue to work on Mr. Lassen's jet until you need to make radio contact. Yes, sir. Okay, use your standard encrypted call sign. Understood, Good sir. Good deal. I need to go. All right. They're coming back. And when they do, we need to find a place to hold out. I'm coming back for you, okay? Right. Hey. To respect, sir, don't you think it's best if you stay behind? That's the plan, Mr. Lassen. I'm gonna remain at the base and I'll be seeing better to work, but advise your men. This is high altitude desert. You could be trudging through several feet of snow on your way to a secure location. Why not just stay at the base instead of freezing our asses off? Lower visibility out here. At the base, anyone can spot us. If the exfil is going to happen, this is the best place to do it. Just feels like the increased exposure is gonna make us more vulnerable. How do we know they're not out here already? We don't. But at least we can buy Barrett more time to make the Valkyrie repairs. That's our only option if the Expo falls through. Still don't like having to freeze my ass off.
Take deep breaths, guys. Breathe. So, do you know what this thing is? Or, let me guess, you can't tell us. It's a lethal viral agent. It's airborne. That sounds serious. It is, if we don't get it back to the lab in time for them to develop a vaccine. Hey, whatever you need from us, just let us know, okay? It looks like a good spot up there. The higher vantage will help us see if we're being followed. Okay, let's drop here. This is the highest ground and the best cover we're gonna find. I hope you shoot better than you fly. Yeah, me too. Bro, make sure to watch his back, please. No matter what happens, we watch each other's backs, okay? Colonel Hearing, Lassen. Do you copy? Loud and clear. What's your sit rep? We've established a secure perimeter and we're hunkered down, but we can't hold this position for long. What's the situation on your end? How's that exfil looking? I'm gonna need you to hold on a little longer. My men are working diligently on your aircraft. Hang in there. We'll get you on your way. We can't hold out here much longer, Colonel. We're burning valuable time out here. We need to get the CRISPR off this island. I understand that. We're doing everything we can on our end to make that happen. Herring out. Okay, looks like we're clear for now. Master Sergeant, have you started with the traps? No, sir, I haven't. This might be a good time to do so. Yes, sir. Lieutenants, you're with me. We're set up a defensive perimeter using good old mother nature. Let's go. Standing by. Hard to believe booby traps are gonna make a dent in a platoon of an elite Russian infantry. I think that's the point. They won't be expecting it. Thought I heard a helicopter flying over to the east. I wonder if they've sent in reinforcements. Hard to be blind like this, hidden behind all this cover. Not sure we'll be able to handle more than 10. Especially with our little stick traps. They did this in Vietnam, right, Sarge? That's right. My uncle stepped on one of these in Da Nang. Almost died from infection. They used to wipe shit on the tips. Wait, what? We're not doing that, are we? We're not savages, Lieutenant Brown. Is this deep enough, Sarge? That's good. Lieutenant Brown, keep these two alive, please. Okay? Yeah. I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm just worried about Jamie's though. 
She's okay. Our north flank is open. We could use some traps over there. Looking good? For now. So what were you before whatever you are now? Force recon. <laughs> Marines. Whole team devil dogs? No, only a chosen few. My brother was in the fifth Marines. Oh yeah? Where is he at now? He didn't come back from Afghanistan. Tough break, soldier. Comes with the oath. That it does, soldier. That it does. Echo Bravo Juliet 1, authenticate. Victor Romeo 2, authenticating. Authentication confirmed. What's your sit rep? Home base is compromised. I'm off base. The MI 28 returned and Colonel Herring asked me to investigate. They draft additional troops and they're headed to base. No, no number of boots on the ground. They're armed. I count at least eight of them. Copy that. Sit tight and await further instructions. How many? Eight lightly armed hostiles. Telling how many out here looking for us, though. We bring it. How's that doing? Still here. How much time we got? Less than 10 hours. CRISPR? They haven't gotten it yet. Pile driver Storm. Go ahead, Storm. What's the ETA on that exfil? Waiting for confirmation to obtain gun support. Your position has been compromised. But we're less than 10 hours away from losing containment. Copy that, Storm. We're doing what we can. We'll update the advice. Out. We have an armed patrol heading this way. How many? Couldn't tell. All right, this is it. Basic infantry skills. Keep your selector on semi. Conserve your ammo. Nobody fires until they hit the traps, or I give the word. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Visual. Five staggered on the main trail. Three meters apart, close grouping. All carrying AKs. OK. 
Okay, let the first one hit the punji sticks, then take your shots. Copy that. Either them or us. We gotta go. I'll come back. circling back to the base. Copy that. I'll link up with you and the team when you reach the perimeter. I've lost contact with Barrett. Have you seen him? Negative. Any casualties? Yes. One. Crap. What's he doing? Sergeant Barrett, I lost you. What's wrong? Where in the world did you go? I'm so sorry. Drop your weapons, gentlemen. I have snipers in position. Please, do as I have asked. I will ask you again. Please. Lower your weapons. I will ask you again. Please, lower your weapons. Okay, put them down. Very good. 
Very good. Now, if you will all kindly come this way, away from your weapons. Yes. Against the wall. Oh. You have something that is ours. We would like it back. On your knees. Please, remember my sniper. Do not be a hero. On your knees. Sent five men. Yeah. You are proficient. Is this the correct word? Thorough. 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 I. I am proficient. После того, как мы их убьем, тащите тела в огонь. И подворим все, как мы уже безопасно вывозили. Да. Объищите окрестность. Прощеваю экстракцию. Транспорт на подходе. No talking. Do not move. before any jet can reach your area, we do recommend that if the Valkyrie is in flying condition, that your pilots should take it and see if they can secure the package. Again, take the Valkyrie and secure the package. Looks like visuals are made by these screens. Fed through some sort of 360 camera system. She's all yours. I'm not... I, I, don't, I don't know if I can do this. No time to debate. I think these are weapon stations. Alex, if anyone can do this, it's you. All right. Uh, it can't be that difficult, right? Uh, instrumentation's the same, give or take, a few gadgets, and... <laughs> we got it, okay. All right. Okay, all right. <laughs> All right. AT. What do you think that is? Uh, uh, carrying gun? Yeah. Oh no, I just did something. Yeah, that's what it is. All right. <laughs> that's All awesome. Right. All right, guys, prepare for takeoff. 
All right, here we go. Ready? Ready, Dutch? Okay, here we right. go. Let's do this. Slow and steady. Pull up, slow and steady. Okay. All right, here we go. Slowly. And let's pull up now, slowly. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Sight, guys. Incoming 200 knots, intercepting course in about 20 miles. There's, there's a weapons panel here. It's a, it's a missile panel. We have air to air missile, guys. <laughs> guys, we got enemies in sight. Here's the plane, guys. We're gonna bank left, cut across their bow. All right. Spielman, I need you on that Gatling gun. We only have one chance at this. If we destroy that chopper, we lose the CRISPR. Copy? Understand. Okay. All right. Here we go. Banking left now. speed, but it sticks like moving through mud. We got two S-80s incoming, deploying planes are ready. Hold on, pulling up. The flag flares. Pull up now, let's go. That's way closer than I want. Damn it! Uh, guys, any idea on how we could cripple this guy without destroying him? Maybe I can lock onto its rear rudder with one of these air-to-air -air missiles. No, Dutch, you and I both know we can't do that. That's a serious crash right there we're talking. So what do we do? We're coming up on a field. Let's shoot out his rudder, force him to land there. What do you think? Whatever we end up doing, the time is going to be perfect. It's risky. All right, Dutch. I need you on that gun. We need to set this chopper down, all right? We only have one chance. You ready? You ready. Coming around the six again. And... Banking left now. this. It's time to cowboy up, right? Copy that. Let's get ready to take her down. Let's take her down. Hang tight. All right, guys. 
It's gonna be a buck. Do you want okay? All right. Hang on. Bring it down, baby. Let's bring it down. Nice and slow. Everyone hang on. Nice and slow. All right. Touchdown in three, two. have the Valkyrie ready to go. Based on the way he's moving on the monitor, looks pretty banged up. This one's yours, Spielman. But if you're not back in 10, we're coming after you. What is your status? Do you copy? We do copy. We have the CRISPR. One injured. Copy. We understand you have the CRISPR. Please proceed to Kirkland Air Force Base. Copy.
Looks good. Well done. Everything looks intact. Thanks, guys. They'll get you briefed and back to Hassan. Who says I'm going back to Hassan? How are we going to protect America without you? Could we technically say that we saved the whole world? You've done your country a great service. You saved a lot of lives. We lost a lot of them, too. We have them to thank. I've trained a lot of pilots in my career, some good, some real good. And then the few that are truly exceptional. To be an exceptional pilot, much like being in special forces, sometimes you need to think outside the box. You need to be a rebel, but not a mutineer. Sometimes the answer lies right in front of you. Other times, you need to search deep for it. In combat, it is easy to lose your cool. But those who can keep a clear head and stay calm are the ones who are proved to be leaders. Leaders that we so desperately need in these desperate times. Those capable of heroic acts of courage, not only to protect one's country, but to be willing to lay down their life for that of their fellow servicemen. Most pilots like Marcus Brown and Spielman will never be called upon and do what those brave pilots have done to actually engage in ground warfare. It's another thing entirely to look your enemy in the eye to see the life drain from them. That's one advantage to being a pilot. But even still, the knowledge of your actions can still weigh heavily on your conscience if you don't keep the mission and the reason at the forefront of your thoughts. Lieutenant Marcus Bannon Spielman will have long, successful careers ahead of them for as long as they wish. It's the chance to forge pilots like these that drives me to continue on. Their actions enable Lassen and his team to get to CRISPR to where it needed to go. It's been reported that the operation proved successful. Even at my rank, you don't always get the full story. Sometimes you just get mission accomplished, and that's all you can ask for. I often wonder what would have happened had Lassen and his men landed in another training base. But luckily, they landed in mine.